for you just like a deer panteth for water that is how our souls are in this nation even as we intercede for the nation I want to commit every intercessor into your hand every Kenyan that I've said today I am praying with Apostle Damaris for the nation of Kenya and for my family father I pray that you are going to make us one even in the spiritual realm, as we pray together and give us results that your name will be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Welcome on board, good people. Welcome on board. This is your friend and this is your prophet and your pastor, 
And this is where we normally meet so that we can pray for the nation of Kenya. I want you to type Amen. That was a powerful, powerful prayer that our souls are waiting. Our souls are thirsty for the Lord and we need Him and desire Him the more. Glory be to God. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe, like the page, share my prayers so that others can be able to pray with you and also with me in Jesus' name. Now, today Sunday is a powerful day because I am dealing with the greatest enemy among us, the army, and this is fear. Fear is a weapon that destroys the mighty men and they are powdered. Fear is a weapon that the enemy is using against the intercessors of the nation of Kenya and not only in this nation but worldly. They are also being frightened and the fear is entering in their lives slowly and slowly and that is what I want us to deal with before we pray for the nation of Kenya. Glory be to God. This fear has entered even in the lives of ministers of the gospel. Some of us fear to speak the unspoken and what God has told us to speak because you don't know whether they will come after you or whatever will happen. But when God gives you a word, you have to speak it boldly because it will protect us. I want us to go to Proverbs chapter 29. Proverbs chapter 29. This month I've really used this book very much. Now Proverbs 29 and verses 25, the Bible says that the fear of man the fear of man brings a snare. But whosoever puts his trust in the Lord shall be saved. The fear of man brings a snare, brings a dread. But whosoever puts his trust in the Lord shall be saved. What is that fear that you have? When you put your trust in the Lord, then you shall be saved. In the name of Jesus. I want to give you another one in the book of Job. One time Job said that the thing I greatly feared has finally come. What is that you are fearing? Today I feel I need to speak to us the army. To speak to us the warriors that have been assigned in the name of Jesus Christ. Now Job chapter 3 and verses 25. Job 3 verses 25. Don't forget the first one was Proverbs 29, 25. Now we are going to Job chapter 3 and verses 25. The Bible says, For the thing, not the things, for the thing which I greatly feared is come upon me, and that which I was afraid of is come to me. He feared he may lose his family. And that is why he was offering a sacrifice every other day. And he would say, pa, pa, maybe my family have committed sin. This is intercession. I'm not going to give you so many of them. But I'm going to take you to another scripture. Because we are going to deal with fear. Among us, the intercessors as an army that God is raising for me. Now, the correct definition, definition of fear, not divination, definition of fear, F is force. Now, when you go to Proverbs, I'm dealing with us. I'm dealing with us. Allow me be, because I'm dealing with the army in the nation of Kenya. The thing you fear can never assist you. Now, Proverbs chapter 19 and verses 9. Number, letter F is force. So, 19.9, the Bible says, A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaks lies shall perish. The moment you understand that that scripture belongs to you, then you will erase the name of the letter F, and fear will start disappearing. Number E. Number E, letter E, letter E, evidence. We have so much evidence. When fear starts manifesting, you start experiencing evidence in your life. You find that what is inside you starts coming forth. The Bible says, guard your heart with all diligence. Let's go to Proverbs chapter 6 
Let's go to Proverbs chapter 6. Proverbs chapter 6. Let me use this one. It is near me. Proverbs chapter 6. The thing you will greatly fear will have to come to you. So you really have to be uh, very, very careful. Let's do chapter 4. Sorry, chapter 4 and verses 23. Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it are issues of life. When you start fearing, there will be evidence of that fear. You dream with it, you dream dreams of fear. You, you get viruses in your dreams, which God is talking to you. You find that it has some inter interaction or interference. We have A, appearing. Now, as we guard our heart with our diligence, if you don't pray against fear, what you have been fearing will start up appearing. And that is why Job said, the thing I feared, the, greatly, the great thing I feared has finally found me. And the final one is R, real. Reality start happening. We are going to pray for us intercessors. We are going to pray for the nation of Kenya. They are, pallium, they are, uh, they are politicians who are free, fearful. We have ministers of the gospel that are fearing. We have mere Kenyans or generally Kenyans that are fearing. We are going to pray, oh God, let every fear in my life be dissolved in Jesus' name. Let every fear in my life in the nation of Kenya be dissolved in the name of Jesus. Father God, in the name that is above every other name, I am ushering the people in this nation that are in this category, that are fearing, that are fearful. They are fearing of what is not known. Some of them are fearing because of death, accidents, incidents, because of where they are coming from. And they are not able to serve you in the area of prayer. I pray that every fear shall be dissolved by the power of your grace. Leliba shute lima de brosai, lende boza kadabresia, rekoto robo zanda labi, rembrobo santa lia badia. Let every fear dissolve. Let every fear dissolve. Let every fear in this nation dissolve. Let every fear in our families dissolve. Rekoto robo zai, mara bandele bosi atai badu. Rekete rebozia, reba zoto roboza, rekete rebozia de, raba shanda na bida, mara bezia tuarabia. We have children that fear, we have mothers that fear, we have youths that fear, we have fathers that fear, we have people in the government of this nation that are going for hideout because there is fear. There are ministers of the gospel, the body of Christ, that are fearing the intercessors. They are fearing. We don't know what they are fearing. But Master Jesus, let every fear dissolve. Rakadala besia dai. Rekoto robo zete revia. Rembo zoto robo zakadi. Rekete rekete rebo ziadia. I command every fear in the nation of Kenya to dissolve in the name of Jesus. Every voice that is speaking fear in the lives of Kenyans. Dika loba zuade. The voice of accusation. The voice of fear. Rendo bo sata brezia. Aya luba rekodo bushi. Kelima dembro siatabe. Be dissolved in the name of Jesus. Whoever is hearing my voice and you're under the spirit of fear, as you listen to me, let fear dissolve. Let fear die. Kolobo satarabesi. Marabo zetelebesia. In Jesus' name. Amen. Type amen. Now, the next prayer we are going to pray for us because this is what the Lord put in my spirit. We are going to look at a few things and a few scriptures. Let us go to Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8. Many of us fear. I was also once there. There are times I would fear darkness because my eyes were opened. I was seeing things, you know. Now, people express fear 
majorly on these areas. Number one, fear of death. There are people who fear death. Number two, I'm not teaching, I'm informing so that we can pray. Fear of accident and incidents. When I had accident many years back, I feared even to drive. I feared even to step on, on muddy areas because I felt I would fall. I feared to enter into cars. My husband used to drive at 20 and 40. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now we have number three, which is fear of the unknown. There are people who fear, but they don't know why. Let me tell you, one of the greatest weapons Satan or witchcraft will use against great men of God and also intercessors or a nation is fear. And that is why I'm dealing with it. There are people who fear of unknown. And the final one, fear of a horrible sight. You must have a ground that made you fear of a horrible sight. Romans chapter 8 and verses 15. Romans 8 and verses 15. This is what the Bible says. I love the word of God. For you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear. Fear is a bondage. It needs to be broken. Glory be to God. And the Bible says that, but you have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. We have received the spirit of adoption. We have been adopted by our maker, where we cry, Abba, Father. This one is very real. In my spirit, when I'm fighting battles and I just speak and I pray, what, my father, my father, or I just say, where is the God of my father? Before I see Apostle Johnson Suleiman, he appears and fights for me. So I have an experience of that. Amen. We have Second Timothy. Today I may delay with two minutes or three. I may take a little time because I am delivering the nation from the spirit of fear. Even politicians fear. Even presidents fear. <laughs> Everybody fears. It is good to fear because when you fear, you learn. And when you learn, you overcome that bondage. Second Timothy chapter 1 and verses 7. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Second Timothy chapter, two, uh, chapter 1 verse 7. For God has not given us the spirit of fear. So when you fear, it is the spirit of bondage. It is a spirit from hell. Amen. One time I was praying. I had entered into the spiritual area. My husband opened the door. He didn't know I was praying. I felt like I have died. You know, I just, my spirit just from up and like, so it happens. We have the final one, Romans chapter 10 and verses 17. When you read the word of God, fear will have to disappear. Romans 10 verse 17. Romans 10 verse 17. I think I'll teach on this on YouTube one day. Romans 10 verse 17. The Bible says in verse 17 as we pray, So then faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. What are you hearing? What are you hearing? If you are listening or watching Draculas, you know, uh -huh, vampires, you will fear. But when you read the word of God, the Bible has told us, so then fear comes by hearing, uh, so faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Why? Faith is a tool that kills fear. What do you listen? What do you do in your free time? What are you watching? We are going to pray one prayer point that I've written here. Every demon producing fear in my life be paralyzed. We are going to paralyze the demon of witchcraft, the demon from the occultic world, the demon from the water spirits in Jesus' name. My father, my father, every demon of fear that is operating in our lives that have been produced into the nation of Kenya, that have been produced into the government of Kenya, that have been produced ikalo prozende bo shakadi brosiata mare bozoto brosi be paralyzed in the name of Jesus fear in our children's life fear in schools fear in our women fear in our men fear in our teenagers fear in the lives of the youth fear in marriages 
mara kotorobosa rendele bosi atabida rekoto koto prosia remba zutele besi adei reko koto koto proseke shere bosi atuarabida rendele bosi tinibosia let faith be produced in our lives let faith be produced in our lives let faith enter into the nation of Kenya because it is by faith that we hear marabo zotorobusa it is by faith that we hear and we hear the word of the lord help us to believe in the word of god rekodo kodo let the word of god marabo zotorobusia paralyze paralyze marabo zetebrosa Rokodo prosende bosia every spirit of fear every demon of fear every witchcraft of fear rende bosakada shere bosia taiba rombromba soto lomuda rinde liba sua tabia shendere bosia taiba let every demon producing fear in our dreams makoloposa be paralyzed by the power of God shereketere bosia in Jesus name you will continue praying that we are going to this one we have to pray I'll not leave it we are going to shake off every memory of fear because if you don't do it and every negative thought that produces fear so that we can settle that that one will pray for one minute so that we can pray for the nation of Kenya one prayer that we always pray for this nation in Jesus name i shake off every fear i shake off every negative mind negative thought negative dream negative memory maropo zuda producing fear in my life in the life of kenyans in the life of politicians in the life of the body of Christ in the life of the members of the church of Christ in the life of the ministers of the gospel liprosanda bossa those that have had covid before they still are traumatized they still have fear let fear die let fear die let fear die i shake off every fear in this nation they can no prosande bossa kenya shake every fear shake every fear shake every fear shake every negative thought shake every negative memory shake every negative dream rekoto robo sanda la visa in jesus name please continue with that prayer now we are going to pray for the nation of kenya normally we do it we do it and i want us to deal with it now we are in number 9 we are in number 9 not even number 9 we are in number 13 we are going to go to psalms 85 and verses 11 psalms 85 and verses 11 psalms 85 and verses 11 remember our theme and our uh, our scripture our anchor scripture is in judges chapter 9 never forget that we are going to go to psalms 80 5 85 85 we are going to pray that that during this election god will give us good leaders for the land of kenya to yield its increase when you have bad leaders there is no increase when there is bad leader there is no increase amen so 82 and verses 11 12 and 12 up to 13 god to give us good leaders god to give us good leaders now 85 the bible says verses 12 and verses uh, 13 yeah the lord shall give that which is good god cannot give good things when there is good bad people when you have a bad leader it is death there will be retrenchment the walls will fall there will be terrorism because there is no covering when you have a good leader good things will come and there will be increase in the land the bible says yeah the lord shall give that which is good and our land shall yield her increase number 13 righteousness shall go before him and shall set us in the way of his steps look at that 
Righteousness will go before him and shall set us in the way of his steps. Good leaders will produce good results. Good leaders will bring peace and unity. We are going to pray that God will give us good leaders for the land of Kenya to yield its fruit in Jesus' name. My father, my father, as I join the nation of Kenya to pray for this nation, to pray for the government, to pray for the right leaders, to pray for increase, I am asking you, Jesus, that you are going to appoint good leaders for us, good governors in our counties, good president in this nation, good deputy president, good ministers in this nation. Let the horn of the wicked be cut off. Give us good leaders, O oh God. Lead us in the body of Christ. Lead us in the nation of Kenya. Lead us in the government of Kenya. Lead us karabo sata la bita riaposa. Remrombo sata la bini. Rekete rebo sata la bude. Remrombo sata lia basua. My father, my father, give me good results in this. Libra shanda lebo zodua. Libra zete rebo zadia. Rekete kete parua tabe. Remrombo sata lia badia. Rekoto koropo zua. Kaiba to prozia. Cut the evil and wicked leaders. Cut their horns, O oh God, and give us good leaders. Cut off the horns of the wicked. Cut off the horns of bad leaders. Give us the good leaders that the land of Kenya shall yield its fruit, that the body of Christ shall flourish and blossom. Rembrombo Satana Bida. We need good results. We need increase. We need increase in our lands, in our fields, in the ministry of health, in the ministry of education, in the ministry of finance, in the ministry Ministry of security in every ministry job. We need good results for good and yielding increase in the land of Kenya. Marabo Satana Beda. Reproposande le bosa, shere bosi ati abadu, rende le bosi ati abada. Give us good leaders, master. Give us good leaders, oka. Give us good leaders, oka. Rikori positi bada. Give us good policemen, oka. Give us good army in this nation. Give us the armed forces, oka. Commanders that fear your name. Rendo bosa tabade. Rete reposa ribada Rita lia bando bosa Shelebezi atu arabia Give us good leaders in our families Marebo zoto robusa Give us good leaders in our churches Marebo zoto robusa Give us good leaders oka Our children need good leaders In the universities In the institutions Marebo zoto brosia In primary school, in secondary school, we need good leaders, oh God, that are going to cause increase in the nation of Kenya. Wipe up with Caliprosia. Wipe out, oh God, every wickedness, every wicked leader. Marabo Setelevisa, Sherebia Suata Biado, Mareba Sotarabosa. Give us good governors in our counties. Give us good governors in our county that our counties will yield fruit maragada rabeza mareba zotorobo siada rekeri karia basuada marabasi ateria mandeboza father we thank you we bless you whatever prayer we have prayed today together with intercessors and the nation of kenya the kenyans may you hear us and bear results for us in Jesus' name. Amen. Type Amen, type Amen, and may God bless you. There is a testimony. And by the hand of Apostle Damaris, signs and wonders and miracles are your portion today. Please be safe and keep safe in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>